Right, so this is the final check uh, before the flight. It's uh, 9 a.m. and I'm flying at 10, so I'm gonna finish this check. I'm gonna head out the door and I'm gonna go fly. So the first thing I do pretty much as soon as I roll over in the morning is just navigate to the um, Met Aviation website and just check the weather. Um, make sure it hasn't deteriorated. deteriorated. Um, easy for me to say. Um, I make sure I'm still good to fly. And on many days, that's a text the instructor, roll back over and go to sleep. But today's good. Um, so plan route using um, map and sky demon. Um, so I have got my plug here. And I've got my map marked up. So I'm good to go there. What else have we got? Um, stop drinking water and caffeine. Well, I didn't get up that long ago. So unfortunately, I'm going to break that rule, but that's fine. These are the key ones because this is the stuff you can only get on the day and that's your met weather forms. As I say, you know, I check them as soon as I roll over in the morning. Um, but we're going back there now um, and I've got these on my favourites. So your TAFs and METARs and you're looking at all the relevant aerodromes you're going to fly around. Um, <clears throat> and you're also looking at the briefing charts for the day. Um, that is not the most recent one because I've just checked on my phone. But you're going to navigate to the most recent briefing charts here. Um, and you're just going to have a look at uh, at the weather for the day. So here we go. Um, what do we want? Low level forecast. So this is the one and we also want the spot wind. Um, but that we're going to have a quick scan and make sure we're happy. As, as we know, we've got some high winds around the south, but we're OK. Otherwise, um, so plug, we've got windy. Windy, we've checked. We've checked that before. I've checked that again on the morning. Fan lines are on the map. Sky Demon plug, we've got... Um, <clears throat> windy we've done no time info we did yesterday i'm going to double check that this morning just have a skim through see if anything news appeared um narrow route brief we've got fuel plan we've got weight and balances we've done in here um so takeoff run and landing run we've done we did that in our um in fact we should have done that so that's here um that we've done on this computer i will do that when i get into the airfield today on paper um, runway headings and crosswind we've done that and we've got crosswind of between two and four knots we've got the charts from poolies in the bag call ahead well we've done that we've booked out sunset doesn't matter but it's after eight we've got the poolies charts we check my kit list um, and i understand the runways and the approach so i like to do as much as i can the night before um, and you can see here everything laid out so i've got a spare phone there in case my sky demon goes wrong um I like to, if I can, record it on a GoPro. Um, I've got spare batteries here. I've got sunglasses. Sunglasses are important. Have some breakfast. Um, the aircraft, that's one we didn't check, in fact. So we are lucky enough, again, to have a tech log on our... So in here, you've got aircraft defects, you've got the tech log, um, and you can go through that for your, um, for your relevant aircraft, which I've done. And I found out that it doesn't have a checklist in the aircraft. Um, so I printed my own checklist and I'll stick that together using a Bulldog clip in a minute. Um, so that's all good. And there's my bag packed and ready to go. Um, what's in it? I bring book one with me all the time. Um, I've got my headset and my high-vis vest in here. I've got my normal checklist in here. I've got a spare um, battery pack down the bottom there. I've got a holder for my phone for Sky Demon. I've got my... Um, my license and my logbook and all that jazz in there. Um, so that's me, final checks and ready to go, heading out the door.